Hello and welcome to the SysCut video tutorial. My name is Sergey, and in this video we are going to make a dev copy of your live store in a site directory. Let's begin. Having a live copy of your store in a site directory is useful. You can test upgrades on it or modify files with no risks. You can freely make a copy of your store with the same license, but you have to close the storefront of a copied store. To create a dev copy, you need to take several steps. Step 1. Copy the files of your store to a subdirectory. Step 2. Create a database for the copied store. Step 3. Edit the config.local.php file. And step 4. Make some finishing touches. Now, let's proceed to step 1. To make an archive, you need to log in to the control panel of your hosting, go to the file manager, enable hidden files in the settings, proceed to the folder where your store is located and make an archive of your store. Just click compress, choose the zip archive, make up a name for it. and click Compress Files. After you have created an archive, go to Settings and disable hidden files. You won't need them for now. Create a subdirectory where your copy will be located. Don't forget that your subdirectory must be located in the main folder of your store. Create new folder and after that move your archive to this new subdirectory. Just click the archive and extract it. Extract files right into the subdirectory. Now Delete the archive file and you can proceed to the step 2. In step 2, you need to create a database for your copied store. Without database, it won't work properly. To create a database, you need to find a database subsection in your control panel. After that, go to PHP My Admin Panel. On the PHP My Admin page, click the Databases button and choose the current database. In our case, it's Data1 database. After that, click Operations button and choose Copy Database2 field. Here, enter the name for the new database. Check the settings. Structure and data should be chosen and also create database before copying and auto increment value should be enabled. Click go button. After the database has been copied, you can check it at the panel on the left. Before moving to the step 3, don't forget to assign a user to the newly created database. To do this, go to Databases, MySQL Databases and find Add User to Database field. Choose the user, choose the database and click the Add button. After that, set up the privileges for this user and click Make Changes. Moving to step 3. Since your copy is in the new folder and the copied database has a different name, you have to edit config.local.php file to make the store work. Go to File Manager, 
go to the subdirectory, there your copied store is extracted. And find your config.local.php file. Don't mix up this file with the config.php file. Right click on the file, choose Edit. Check the settings and click Edit button again. Here you need to edit database connection options and host and directory where software is installed. First, database connection options. The only thing you need to change here is the database name. After that, you can proceed to the installed location. Here it is, host and directory where software is installed. You should enter the name of the subdirectory for both NoSecure server and Secure server. Just click HTTP path line and enter the name of a folder. The host stays the same. After entering, click Save Changes button and go back to the file manager. You are almost ready to launch your copy store. Now it's time for the step 4. Only a few things separate you from launching your copy store. First, you need to find bar folder and delete the cache folder inside it. Moving on, you need to update the URLs of your copied store and close the storefront. For this, you need to get an access to the admin panel of your copied store. Just add the subdirectory name to the address link and add admin.php. After that, you will be able to log in into your new store. Enter the email. Enter the password and sign in. To change the URLs, go to Administration, Stores, choose the desired store and change Storefront URL field. You can also change Secure Storefront URL field. Just add the name of your subdirectory to the address line, just like you did previously. Click Save and your URLs have been updated. Now go to Settings, General to close the storefront. Find Close Storefront setting and enable it. Click Save. Now you are ready at that, you can check that your store was closed and nobody can get an access to it. But if you make changes, upgrades or test something, you need to get an access to the storefront for yourself. For this, find access key to temporarily close store setting and enter the key. After that, you need a part of the address line that is provided in the by the question mark. Enter the part of the address line and change key value to your key. Press enter. And now you have the full access to your copied store, not just the admin panel but the storefront too. Just remember that your copy store is closed for the customers and you need a key to get an access to the storefront. Before we finish, let's revise the steps. So, step 1. Copy the files of your store to a subdirectory. Step 2. Create a database for the copy store. Step 3. Edit the config.local.php file 
And step 4. Finish the process with updating your URLs, deleting cache and closing the storefront. Well, that's it. If you have any questions, you can ask them in the comment section below on Facebook or Twitter. Thanks for watching.